Dan was away taking our kids away to school and I was at home alone with our, with our newborn baby and um, there were no other international workers in the community where we were living. And sure enough, as it usually happened while Dan was away, things fell apart. And um, Kyle, who was a baby at that time, got really, really sick. And um, I was alone there. I had no way of communicating with anybody else on another station or anything. And um, he just got sicker and sicker and sicker as the days went by. And I was starting to just get really anxious. And at, at one point I started to cry. And um, I had a, an African man who was working for us at that point. And he got really scared when he saw me cry. Um, he thought that the end of the world had come. And <laughs> so he said, Madame, don't cry. We're gonna do something about this. So he ran to the church. And he called the pastor and he said, Madame is crying. Um, the, the baby is really sick. We need, we need to do something. So the pastor said, calm down. Um, just have her pack, pack up a bag and bring the baby to the church and um, we will help her. So um, he came back to the house and he said, pastor says, come to the church. So I was... Um, I packed up a little bag and I, and I gathered Kyle up in my arms and he was pretty limp by that point. And um, I, I walked over to the church and, um, and the pastor said, okay, we're going to pray. And so we prayed for Kyle. And then he said, now I'm going to take you to the taxi, um, the taxi stand where there are these, all these beaten up, broken down African vehicles and he said, I'm going to find you the best one I can find and we're going to t uh, rent two places in the, in, the, in the van and you're going to go to the next city where there's a mission hospital run by a European mission. Well, I had only been in Guinea for a couple of years and I hadn't had to use the taxi as much at all because I was always with Dan and Dan was always there, but Dan wasn't there. And so did I trust that the pastor's prayer was enough? that God was big enough to take care of me and Kyle while I went off on my own, all by myself, to this next city, through the mountains, in this rickety um, vehicle to get help. Well, God was there, and He, he brought me to this next town safely, um, uh, around all these winding curves and um, narrow misses and in the mountains, and we got to the to the the hospital and the, the missionaries who were there welcomed me with open arms and assured me that Kyle was not going to die, that he was going to be fine, and they gave him medicine, and when, within hours he was better. And again, God showed to me that, yes, I can trust him, even when it seems to me that the end of the world has come and something terrible is going to happen. It doesn't always work out that what we think is going to happen happens, but um, that time, um, he came through and healed our son through the help of other international workers who were there. And so he was sufficient for that.